Good day traders, mindset reset, it's the weekend. And uh, today talking about three books every trader needs to read. Now you're not gonna maybe read all three, but definitely wanna get Peter Brandt's book, uh, 21 Days of Commodity Trading. I think it's 21 Days. Peter Brandt, uh, if you're not following him on Twitter, follow him. He's one, probably one of the most experienced pure classical chartist left still alive. There's, I'm sure there's lots of them out there. But Peter is a plethora of knowledge and he's a master craftsman. And everything that, I know Peter doesn't day trade, but all of the classical chart patterns show up within the daily structure on shorter time frames. And then applying the timings, the highs and the lows of the day and the geometrical patterns, there are opportunities everywhere as you are starting to see. The other two books are Schaubacher and Edwards and McGee, which were two of the original classic charting textbooks on how to trade. Now I know there's a lot of gurus out there who put their name on stuff and you know they put fancy names on patterns in the charts and they have their you know mentorship groups and everything else. Save your money, read the books, but understand that classical charting is is a tactical approach, but it's your perception and your innateness to uh, master your own personal domain in terms of your emotions, your mindset, your belief systems, and everything that will empower you to be able to execute those charting patterns. So you can read as many books as you want. Now, a great question the other day, what do I read? I actually don't read a whole lot anymore. I'm really big into listening. Uh, every, I process things a lot better auditory. I tend to remember things very well. All through university, I recorded all of my lectures. I used to listen to them repeatedly. I, took, I hardly took any notes, although I do journal, and journaling is a very powerful tool. Uh, real quick with that is that uh, I like to listen to interviews with people who have achieved great things in any profession, any sport, uh, any artistic endeavor, professional endeavor, whatever that may be, because I like to hear stories of how people overcame the challenges that they faced. And it's interesting to always hear their story told in their words. Uh, you know, it's very inspiring to hear some of the depths that people have climbed out of to empower themselves and continue to persevere even when every single odd was stacked against them. And I just real quick in closing, I love this story about Eddie Van Halen. If you're a Van Halen fan, which I am, uh, Eddie Van Halen tells a story about when he was growing up with his brother, he couldn't afford foot pedals and he used to watch Jimmy Page on stage, you know, waving his arm up while he was pumping the pedal and making these sounds with his guitar. Eddie and his brother couldn't afford to get foot pedals, so he had to figure out how to make all these sounds with his, just his fingers because he only had the guitar. And so, point being is that you will learn things from different people, you'll pick things up from books from your own time and uh, sitting at the screen. But ultimately, again, coming back to how I crafted everything was understanding how I would respond and react in live time, what I was able to perceive, where my best opportunities were at, and then scaling that down to the highest probability setups and then identifying the instruments that gave me the frequency of trade opportunities. And when you do that, and know where your where your own mistakes are. You know, I get off the screen. I know if I sit around on the screen, I'm gonna I'm gonna cause damage. And you know, like Eddie Van Halen, I don't want to have a lot of fancy equipment around. I got nothing on my desk. I shut everything off. I have my chart on there with nothing but my levels and my my price charts. That's it. There's you know the rest is is all in our heads. We think we need these indicators and everything else. And all they are is mapping uh, some sort of mathematical derivative of price anyway. So. Keep it simple, keep it simple. I love to, uh, again, master the basics, those classical charting books, Edwards and McGee, Schaubacher, S-C-H-A-B-A-C-K-E-R, and Peter Brandt, B-R-A-N-D-T. Follow Peter on Twitter, Master Crossman, and 40 years plus of just in-depth trading knowledge. He bleeds information to you in gold nuggets. Have a great day, enjoy the weekend, and may the markets go with you.